Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Shimmers Paints Inspiration. Joining you today for my December project. I'm very much inspired by Christmas and peppermint candy canes with that colour scheme. I'm using a free cut file which I'll have a link to below and the L Studio Merry and Bright papers for the backing of that cut file and you can see already those gorgeous colours working together so beautifully. It's going to be an adorable Christmas page. So I've outlined where it's going to sit and coming in with my first colour, one of my all-time favourites, Colourings Oh Say Can You See and ah, oh, this colour, wait, there you go, look at that, a super soft jade that is just divine, too dark to perhaps be a mint, but oh my goodness, it's between jade and mint and it is divine, I love this colour, I never tire of it, never, so pretty. So packaging technique and now a few droplets as well. And always good to check with your cut file. Look, I need a bit more colour. Easy to add more colour, very hard to remove it. So I do tend to go light to begin with. Um, and I haven't used any gesso today because I am mounting my cardstock onto some pattern paper after. Um, and I also do tend to use a heavier weighted GSM card. Um, but if you've got quite cheap paper, um, 80 GSM or less, I would certainly recommend you gessoing beforehand. Next colour, Spritz Cotton Candy. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty pink. Wait till you see this one. Splatter. Oh, pretty, pretty pink. And just drawing on the little bit of pink in the pattern paper. And, oh yeah, you can see. And look, on that pattern paper, we've got those little tiny spots of red. So I'm going to come in with Spritz Ruby as well. Very, very pretty combination. You've got that minty, fresh green, and then your red, your white, and a bit of pink. Lots of cotton candy inspiration, or peppermint candy, I should say. Very pretty. And adding just a little bit more now, Dazzler's Fun Sugar. It's a snow stencil, but you know, it just, it wouldn't, it's kind of like confetti too. It's just one of those great, really tiny, small dot stencils that I just, I don't get tired of using it because it adds so much texture, but it's tiny and it's not overbearing doesn't take charge of your page, doesn't distract from your photo, but just adds dimension, gorgeous. So while that's drying, I've got two more cut files. That one, I don't know why it was missing a piece. Um, these are cut files I've had in my box for ages. You know, the ones you cut when you're gonna have, you know, I don't know, I cut spare cut files all the time, just in case ones. And I just thought these would look great in the Osei, can you see? So I'm covering them up and I probably should have done that on a journal so I could have used that fantastic print but you know as you can probably hear I'm full of a cold and I've been struggling for a few days now so I do apologize for my somewhat raspy voice as well and because it's a colorings there's no shimmer so adding shimmerings in baby's breath it's a very light shimmer in this one it's not intense it's very gentle look there you go it's dry you can see just a little just a soft touch of shimmer and that's what I needed just to lift it because of course with my photo being on that I'm intending there we go to layer my photo onto it I wanted it to have just a little bit of shimmer to bring attention to it so you were not lost on the title because that title is quite impressive isn't it so just to draw you in a little bit more and it's always good to add that little bit of something um, I've just outlined where I'm planning on sitting that snowflake and using the spritz again now cotton candy and I'm with my brush as well some droplets going to do this exactly the same as what we did in the other corner but this time using that really pretty pink some more of the spritz ruby lots of droplets here very very pretty color it's a gorgeous cool red so it works beautifully with the Ose can you see because of course if you're going to have greens and reds together, they both need to be very cool or very warm. And a warm green, of course, is a yellow base. And the, your mintier sea greens are those lovely blue bases. So a nice blue base, green and a cool red. Very, very pretty together. And here comes that stencil again because I can't have one without the other. And Dazzler's Fun Sugar. This is just the best colour. I love this. It's so It goes on like butter. It's so smooth and creamy. And then the shimmer in it is divine. Got a really high sheen on it. Very, very pretty for white. So much better than using texture paste, I have to say. So much better. And just a few of the Osei Can You See droplets. So really reversing what we did before. 
between the pink and that minty green. Oh, look at that, lovely. And this paper that I'm using today is L Studio Noteworthy and it just, to be honest, it kind of inspired the colours I chose as well because it was just reminded me of the snow and not that it's snowy here, but you know, I like to think of it as Christmas time still means snow. <laughs> Um, it's over 100 here today. I didn't actually dry my paper today. I walked away for about five minutes and it was dry. <laughs> it's very hot here today. Um, and hence my cold, being in and out of the air conditioning and out into the hot air. Never mind. On we go with that title. It's very mounted and you can see with that base behind it now just how stunning that looks. Really, really impressive. So... Yeah, lots of bits to decorate with. And I'm using all L Studio products today for my scrap from my scrapbook collection. L Studio have the best things. Oh my gosh, the embellishments just wow me every month. And then the papers and they have cool stamps and there's just so much going on. So just going to use a few of my favorite things, mostly from either the December kit or the document December kit, because of course they tie in perfectly with this Christmassy theme. Those acrylics are just stunning. They go and I'm gonna have a fiddle around with them. Not quite sure. But yeah, so lots of L Studio goodies today. And some old things from my collection as well. Some old puffy stickers there. I really think it's important to decorate those centers. I probably could have left that one, but I wanted to add just a bit more interest to it, so stars and hearts. And snowflakes. <laughs> Why not? I think it'll look really cool. Mainly because I'm keeping in my colour theme as well. So working with lots of, um, yeah, those peppermint candy cane colours. So there's my photo with my layered snowflakes. The layered snowflakes are from the cut shop. I forgot to mention that. Um, I, as I said, I'm not sure why I had a piece missing on that cut file though. Maybe it was one of those days where my cameo wasn't playing nice. Um, but yeah, just layering it all together and, and getting a bit of a feel for what my page will look like. And uh, you'll see I'm only putting glue in the centre here because I actually want to lift that snowflake just a little bit to add some dimension to my page. Also because it'll draw a bit more interest to my photograph because it is a tiny photo. Um, and I don't want it getting lost, so on with the second layer. <clears throat> I'm being slow, I must have taped that one. Yeah, I have, look. My glue's running out, or it was giving me a hard time, I don't remember now, but there we go. And now I'll fold those pieces up just to add that dimension. Yeah, fantastic, look at that. And now you're drawn to that first before my title because the title is so striking it really looks great but we want to make sure that that photo is center stage and as you can see that's a picture of my two they've just been to visit santa and the older one refused to have photos this year so she said i'll stand outside in the winter wonderland garden and have photos so this is as close as we got for her this year so a bit sad she's growing up um but the little fella was just so happy to be out of hospital and um, enjoying Christmas and celebrating in the Christmas spirit. So he's got his Christmas hat on and a Christmas t-shirt and he had a great old chat with Santa. So that was lovely. <laughs> and I realise while I'm talking to you now that when this goes live, it will be after Christmas. So I do hope that you all had a fantastic and very Merry Christmas and that you're enjoying the holiday season. I'm hoping I'll be rid of this cold by then. <laughs> Um, very, very warm here at the moment. So I've just foam mounted my photo so that again it will have that little bit more dimension and so I can tuck it just on the edge of my Falala acrylic as well. So hopefully between the two I've got that enough lift in that section of the page. There we go. And I love that tassel that I glued at the base. That was very cute. And one little gold heart just to anchor you into my photo as well. Gorgeous. So lots of pretty embellishments are coming in with some die cuts. As I said, everything's for either Shimmer's Paints, the Cut Shop Cut Files, or L Studio products. So 
Lots of, lots of my favourite things here. They work beautifully together, don't they? Really, really pretty. Those cute acrylics, they're divine. Here we go. Just playing around with where they're going to sit. Oh gosh, that one was obviously escaping my fingers. <laughs> but very, very cute. Oh, where will I put it? Oh look. That really bothered me, obviously. Let's glue this one in place instead and then decide from there. Great. So a really beautiful way to use our shimmers paints to lift what would have otherwise been quite a flat layout. It certainly added lots of beautiful colour, but also texture, dimension and interest. And look, those colours are really quite dreamy, aren't they, for Christmas? They're really really fun and adorable and I don't know I, I like fun happy pages because that's what my life is like it's it's a really happy place to be so yeah we're not traditional and boring we're quite fun and yeah contemporary <laughs> oh, I do love con I, I do love traditional pages though I should say it's just it just isn't me though so on with these fun adornments there we go and just thinking about some sentiments and of course a little bit of journaling to finish up and this one says happiness and cheer I think that's perfect for Christmas lots of happiness and cheer oh more stickers you can never have too many puffy stickers can you I love puffy stickers. Does anyone else have a fetish for puffy stickers? I have never ever have enough. And even if I've already got the packet, if if there's more available, I will buy them. <laughs> Something wrong with me. I love puffy stickers. I wonder if it was, I was never allowed them as a child. <laughs> I'll blame my parents. Um, so just having a look now, and I think I'm happy with how this has turned out. And just going to add in another sentiment. This is a Falala puffy sticker and it says Christmas magic. And I think that's perfect for the story in my photo. It was a little bit of Christmas magic that day. It was magic that he could be with us and be healthy and happy again, which is terrific, just in time for Christmas. And final finishing touches here, just coming in with some journaling with the phrase stickers and we're pretty much done. So I hope you've enjoyed watching today. I think you'll agree the peppermint cotton candy colours were lots of fun and really spectacular and quite true to my style. But then that's the wonderful thing about shimmers. It, they've got such a vast array of colours and the quality is so good that no matter what your style is, there's something for everyone. And I think you'll agree they're just divine so lots of beautiful close-ups coming for you now you can see that shimmer oh just gorgeous so I'll have links to all the colors I've used today as well as my freebie code in the description box below be sure to visit my channel as well because I'll have links for those cut files and L studio products and hit the subscribe button thanks so much for watching happy arty days